Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to continue working through the NPCs of Stardew Valley. Last time we talked about Robin, but we also talked a little bit about Demetrius and a little bit about Sebastian and just kind of barely Maru. I was surprised to hear how many viewers didn't really care one way or the other about Robin since I pretty much always see people either lamenting that she's not single or cursing her into the earth for essentially ignoring her family issues. So that was interesting. This week I felt like we needed to follow up with Demetrius, so here we are. Here's a fun fact for you, Demetrius was my original inspiration for this series. Way back when I was doing YouTube shorts, bet you didn't know I had those, <laughs> I made a joke about not really liking Demetrius very much and somebody latched onto that. I promised I would talk more about it and here we are. I don't have that video up on YouTube anymore, but this one's for you, YouTube Shorts commenter from like June. Here's a not fun fact. This one needs a little bit of a disclaimer, though it's not really a content warning like some of my videos. More like um, more like an I'm an ignoramus warning. I think Demetrius is on the spectrum, and I am not. Before I even sat down to write script here, I spent a couple hours trying to educate myself on like appropriate language. From what I saw, there are kind of two schools of thought. Some people would prefer to say, for example, I'm autistic and some people would prefer to say I'm a person with autism. As a person looking in from the outside, I think I kind of understand how it's a question of like self-identification. And I'm not really the right person to make that decision for Demetrius, but he's not going to tell us anytime soon. So I'm gonna stick with person on the spectrum or similar language throughout this video, since it's all just conjecture anyway. If you wanna let me know your viewpoint in the comments, I would really appreciate it, because I just, I, I haven't lived that life, so. Alright, I know some people don't like those, but now we're done. Back to Demetrius. Demetrius is Robin's husband, Maru's father, and Sebastian's stepfather. He works as a scientist and proclaims that he's studying the local plants and animals from his home laboratory. He's the person who unlocks either the fruit bats or mushrooms in the cave on your farm. We should do a video about that, shouldn't we? And his fixed quests involve local crops and fish, including culling the population of some creatures. His role appears to be kind of a monitoring slash caretaker role for the valley. Kind of, I don't know, almost like a parent, but um, he's not a very good caretaker in some ways. There are two books in Robin and Demetrius's room titled Maximizing Your Second Marriage and Practical Tips for First Time Stepdads. I think the second marriage book could be Robin's, could be Demetrius's, I don't know. But I mean, the other one clearly belongs to Demetrius. It's just whether he bought it or Robin bought it for him. We're going to talk about the stepdad book specifically today, though. I'm not a stepparent, but, you know, I think I have an idea of a couple things that might be in that book. Let's take a peek at how Demetrius is doing based on this WikiHow article that I found in like 30 seconds of Googling. Okay, let's see how to be a good stepfather by WikiHow. Should be good, right? Alright, part one, establishing your role. Beware that the children may also have their biological father as a father figure. Hey, no problem. Be patient when waiting for your new stepchild to respond to your caring, affection, and love. Well, Demetrius doesn't show any of those things, so no problem. Part 2. Spending time with your stepchildren. Spend time with the stepchild in his or her activities. No. Balance the time and gifts you give your own children with the stepchild. No. Invite the stepchild to participate in your own activities. Extra no. Part 3. Communicating with your stepchildren. Communicate clearly and calmly. Um, I think that one's fine. Be openly caring. Like we said before, that's not going to happen. Part four, stepping back. Respect the child's private space. Actually, yeah. Good job, Demetrius. Raise the child in alignment with the child's mother's wishes, not contrary to them. Um, uh, sure. Part five, being a great role model. Help plan the future of the stepchild. Haha. <laughs> Be a good example to your stepchild. Uh, yeah, he's fine. Remember, being a stepdad is a leadership role as part of a team. Hmm, okay. Try to forget that he or she is not your biological child. Well, no. Based on our very official test here, Demetrius is not doing so great, huh? I think the most glaring issue, and one that gets brought up a lot, is that Demetrius just does not care about, or seem to even care for, Sebastian. We talked a little about how Maru has a sweet private wing of the house in the last video. Some people said that maybe Sebastian wanted to live in the basement for privacy, and I feel that. Like, I wanted privacy when I lived with family too. But I think it's more likely that Sebastian just gets kind of pushed out of the way. He tells you that his room would be a little less depressing if he had a window, and when you're married he says the farmhouse really beats his old room, which, I mean obviously, yeah. But 
The window line especially seems to me like it just wasn't really his choice. Sebastian does say, though, that he felt comfortable in the basement, but that the farmhouse is a more interesting place to live. What's really sad, though, is that he'll also tell you he felt unappreciated at home, but feels that he really belongs on the farm with you. Even worse, worse, I guess, is that he thinks Maru is probably happy that he's gone. Now, that doesn't have to relate back specifically to Demetrius, but I do think it has to do with the way that the family dynamic is built, the favoritism, and not specifically the way that the relationship between Sebastian and Maru developed. I don't think Sebastian has a lot of impact in the decision making in the house, and it seems like Demetrius at least has some bias between the kids. When you have high hearts with Sebastian, he can say, who does Demetrius think he is telling me what to do? He's not even my real father, which is super tropey, but the one most people think of, I think though, is I built a snow goon, but Demetrius made me get rid of it. Yet Maru's cute little snowman goes unharmed. Ridiculous. So we know that he's not getting the same treatment. I don't know, maybe there was something obscene about his snow goon, but I would guess it's probably just Demetrius's clear favoritism for his biological child. Speaking of weird bio parents, Maru's two heart scene is essentially a threat from Demetrius. He tells you he doesn't want anything to get in the way of her bright future, and the dialogue choices only affect his friendship, not hers. He's a little creepy when it comes to Maru, but never really mentions Sebastian's existence at all. It's like he just has a programming goblin in the basement making money like some kind of messed up games of Sims 4. Who uses programming instead of painting goblins, Demetrius? Anyway, that's all well and good, Leap-a-Lot, you say, but you made a bold claim at the beginning of the video, and that was like over five minutes ago now. And you're right, viewer, I did. I think Demetrius is neurodivergent. Specifically, I think he's on the spectrum of autism. Demetrius admits that he finds it difficult to understand what Robin means when she's not explicitly clear in her directions. He follows a very strict routine in his schedule. He sometimes, I would say often, seems disinterested in small talk, especially when he's thinking about his own work or things that he's interested in. He is intensely interested in those things that he cares about, like science, his daughter, etc., and he disregards things that he just doesn't really care about. Sebastian just never acknowledges them. I think that he exhibits a lot of the signs, and I think sometimes in media, things need to be somewhat exaggerated to make sure that everyone makes it to the same conclusion, you know? I don't think Demetrius is intentionally obtuse like Robin might sometimes think. I just think he has different priorities, and that might be because he's just single-minded and stubborn, it might be because his work in biology leads him to think more scientifically and less in a way that Robin would consider common sense, or it might be that he's just wired a little differently than the rest of the valley. I can't say for certain, but I do think it is the latter. He's still a crappy dad though. What do you think about Demetrius? Let me know down in the comments and let me know who you think we should talk about next. I have a few ideas and I'll have a poll coming soon and I hope to see you all there.